How you guys doing? Welcome to another deep conversation with your girl Sean. I hope you all are doing well. Here I am with another video. There y'all, if y'all saw the first video, y'all already know that I said I was going to speak about this then. But it was getting too long and I didn't want to make it a 20 plus minute video. So here we are to talk about Martel whole video dedicated to him by himself but before we get too deep in the conversation you guys already know what to do like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend but most importantly finish it with me i ain't even gonna say it y'all already know the rest of the line okay so we already know that martel has pretty pretty much been the topic of discussion the entire summer from him getting into this little scuffle with the Scots brothers from him and Mel making, you know, some type of, you know, um, level headedness where they were getting along. Then he did this whole make, make Martell great again, apology tour, you know, you know, he's, he's really been the topic of discussion. From there, we see that he is, you know, snapping it up with She by Sheree. They over there just sent to New York City. Um, of course, his baby mama telling all of their personal business. And then him himself telling all of him and Melody's personal business. So, Martell has been the topic of discussion this summer. So, let's watch. Let's go ahead and keep the trend going. So we already know that Dr. Heavily dropped some receipts when it pertained to Martell. And if y'all remember my video I did, I think it was Monday, I talked about what Dr. Heavily stated very briefly. And if you want to hear the fullness of it, go to Dr. Heavily's um, page. And she and Bundy Blue was talking. And it's like the last maybe five to seven minutes of her video. And because first they're talking about marriage and medicine and the last, like I said, five to seven minutes, it's really centered around Huntsville and Dr. Heavily drops and spills the tea on Martell. And she says that Martell is thirsty. She says that Martell wants to be over there on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She feels like what everybody else is also thinking that him and Sheree is a sham. This is just publicity. You know, she gives her opinion about that, which we're not shocked about. We all been saying that. But this is where the gotcha come in at. The gotcha comes in at is that um, she stated that when her and um, Martel did the show with Carlos King, you know, his nightcap with Carlos King, he state she stated that him, her and Martel got into it tough. They got into it really, really tough, and they didn't show half of it. Half of the things that happened and went down between her and Martel wasn't even shown. So Mar uh, Martel was really covered by Carlos and covered by the editing crew because if, you know, what Dr. Heavily is saying, this could have made him look really bad. I mean, he looked bad altogether, but this would have really, you know, showed his slip in you know somewhat because martel loves to say how he's over melody but when they did this show together dr hempley stated that he said he wanted his wife back she also stated how she had to go off on him so bad and they was into it so bad that they had to pull martel to the back and dr hempley said she was really upset and really pissed at him you know and she talked about how you know and she was like the biggest thing that got you know her upset is the fact that he talked about dr damon y'all if y'all anybody know dr heavily she don't play about her daddy okay she don't play about daddy damon and he brought it up and you know she was upset because she was like leave my husband out of this he don't have anything to do with this and pretty much stating that I can have you if I wanted you. You know, when she tried to make it seem like he's an upstanding, you know, not make it seem, but her husband is an upstanding man. He do what he's supposed to do. You know, she's running off everything. And that was the beginning of pretty much them kind of getting into it. And of course, if y'all remember, it leads into them talking about Ariane and when he tried to check her about calling her coleslaw. And she was like, I don't even know this girl's name. I didn't call her coleslaw. 
you know, this was invented by another YouTuber. So she stated that they went at it tough, like really, really bad. Um, and she told on Martel and Martel stated how he wanted his wife back. He wanted his wife. He wanted them to um, work out. And we already know that he was working really hard to go on these panels and, you know, try to say he, you know, wish he was back with his wife and he wish he would have did things differently and all this, that, and the third. We knew that this was a way for him to get back to Melody. But the problem that messes up Martel is that you did all this talking and you never said, I'm sorry. You keep making excuses for why you did what you did. You keep going on when you can't have your way. You blast her and do certain things like this. Sir, what is it that you're wanting or thinking was going to happen in this position? But if y'all haven't seen it, go on over yonder and listen to Dr. Heavy. Like I said, it's at the end. It's about five to seven minutes long. Um, so then we're going to move on and talk about the marital home between Mel and Martel. So shout out to Poppin' Topics. I actually came across her. Um, I'm assuming it's a woman, um, today. And she did a video and gave a tour, a tour on what the house looked like on the inside. And it was a beautiful home that Mel and Martel shared together when they was married. And my question is, and let's poll the question tonight is, was, did Martel sell the house or was the house actually put in foreclosure? But like I said, definitely shout out to, shout out to Poppin' Topics. Y'all go over there and look at that video. Oh my God, the house is amazing on the inside. Um, and I'm going to say this. We've already been talking about this, that how it's been a little, you know, word on the curb is that Martel has moved in with Miss Merlene. And I wonder, again, did he sell the house or is this house or did the house go in foreclosure? I am going to go on the ledge and say, I don't know. I really don't know how that would work. And Maybe if I want to, if I have to give it a, a, um, an answer, I would probably say that they sold the house. And this is why, hear me out. The reason why I think they would have sold the house because if you're married, both of your names is on the mortgage, on the deed, all of that. Um, this house going into foreclosure can also affect her financially and her credit and she can have a foreclosure on her credit now do it matter now because she don't bought her own house she got a car and all this and all of that but i think it would have been the best interest for her to say yes let's sell this house and don't let this go in foreclosure because i don't want my credit um jacked up and having a foreclosure stamped on it because you cannot keep up the mortgage payments but hey, we're going to finish this conversation on Friday, but we can definitely finish it right now in the comments. Y'all already know what to do. Drop down in the comments. Let's finish our conversation there, and I will see you guys and talk to you guys in the next video.